let's make some brown butter. Put aside a wet measure. Get a light colored or stainless steel pan and whisk. Use medium heat. Melt the butter. Melt the butter in the pan. You can cut it up into tablespoons if you want it to melt faster. But either way is fine. The result is going to be the same. This way just takes longer. And make sure you melt more than you'll need in whatever recipe you're doing. Because some moisture will be lost during the process. And it's always nice to have extra brown butter. It's melting. And melting. And melting some more. Now we make sure we keep stirring with that whisk to keep it moving. Adjust the heat. If it's getting too hot, keep stirring. It should get bubbly and foamy. You're going to start to see the butter, um, the fat in the butter uh, toasting, as you can see right there. And it's going to happen pretty fast, so you're going to know, you're going to need to know when to remove it from the heat. And you can use it like this, or you could go a little darker. And the darker you go, the more flavor you're going to have, but then you're going to run the risk of burning it. So just really keep an eye on it. Don't step away. Turn the heat off. You're going to want to transfer it into that wet measure. You should be using oven mitts here. I'm clearly not, but it's much safer to use oven mitts. Have a baking spatula ready to get all those little specks of um, brown butter out of the pan because that's where all the flavor is. And there you have it, brown butter, ready to use in a recipe. You can show it in the fridge. Um, it's easy to make ahead. It makes baked 